I know it's only rock and roll, but I like it. The Rolling Stones may not have known it at the time, but that idea has been making its way into music education in a big way. It's not often you associate the word conservatory with rock and roll, but South Shore Conservatory is bridging that divide. Over the past year, PCN Life has been chronicling the growth of the rock band program. We attended shows, festivals, recording sessions, and spoke in depth about the profound impact collaborative music can have on a young person's life experience. And these are not your average garage bands that you might have been in as a teen. These are seasoned, dedicated, well-rehearsed musicians who have had the opportunity to learn about being in a band from an unlikely source, a conservatory. It's a really special program that when I was asked to be a part of it, I didn't realize how big it was going to be. I didn't realize how much of my time I was going to put into it, and I didn't realize how much time I was going to want to put into it either. It's been uh, probably one of the most fulfilling experiences of my teaching career, for sure. Uh, kind of telling the story of rock band at SSC and kind of how we got from in the basement to filling up the New World Tavern, filling up the Middle East, releasing music, collaborating with artists. Okay, now I'm just stalling. Okay, here we go. Eric always says to me, he says, private lessons are great, he says, but there's always going to be a type of kid that that doesn't attract. And that type of kid is the type of kid that wants to play with others. And so that's what's so extraordinary about the rock band. And I think in, uh, in the rock and roll world, it is that playing together. It, that's what that genre is. For us, building a rock band program and finding leadership around it with Eric Calderon um, was a really uh, important thing for us to identify and implement. The rock band program isn't just classes. It's very community-based, which is one of the missions here at the conservatory, and a mission for me with music in general is to bring in, bring more music to the community. The rock band program started through a faculty initiative, and it wasn't actually my own initiative at first. I got here to South Shore Conservatory in 2012, and there was a guitar teacher here named Cliff Williams, and he had the idea of forming rock bands and teaching them like, you know, classes. And so he did that for a little bit and he ended up moving to Michigan and I thought I'd love to continue that program and kind of uh, do my own thing with it, find ways to build on the momentum that he already generated instead of letting the momentum that he generated kind of die off. And once a ball that big gets rolling, it's often easier to just kind of follow it and hold on than it is to even try to stop it. Toast is the band that's had the most opportunity to perform, record um, th a three song demo, two songs professionally at Mad Oak Studios. The performances have been across the South Shore into Boston at the Middle East and that's been because of the Dave Jodka Scholarship for Future Rockers which is funded by the Mad Love Music Festival and started by Kathleen Jodka, whose family suffered a really major loss of her husband, Dave, and they took that and made something really great with it. Well, you know, I think that Dave believed and we believe that, um, and I think most everybody would agree with us, that music has this powerful way of bringing people together, of connecting us no matter what. And I think that um, often that is most felt in a live situation. And to be able to stand in front of a stage and to really witness and watch um, and feel live music is hard to compare to anything else. Um, also amazing. It is amazing. Yes, it's really amazing. Uh, these are kids that really deserve the opportunity. There was a selection process where 12, no, about 15 kids applied. 
and these five kids got it. Not because they were the best players, they did happen to be the best players, but because they formed the best band. I can definitely say, uh, judging by our text thread, all five of them are best friends. And not only are they best friends, they're so good with Kathleen's kids who come out to these shows. They come to the Middle East, they come to New World Tavern, and they're like our biggest fans. They come in toast shirts, you know? So it's like this big full circle thing where, yeah, these kids are getting a serious musical experience. They're, they're, getting, they're, they're able to do things that I really didn't get to do for real until college, maybe even after. And they're doing it, some, as freshmen. These rock bands are saying something different because we're creating a space where you can say whatever you want musically. And as kids start to say whatever they want, it's really liberating. And they start to think outside the box. And once you get kids thinking outside the box, with electric guitars and a drum set and a bass, things get kind of cool. And it's still rock because people don't really know how to box it in. And we are the jazz rock pop department. It's not quite jazz and it's certainly not pop. So it's rock. Basically, people are relying on you to get it right, but if you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. Because if, as long as you have fun and you pay attention to everything that's happening, it's awesome. We used to be very nervous. Now we're just fans. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. We, like you, as a parent, you get a little nervous when your kid goes on stage, and we're like, she's got this. So a, a father of one of the girls in the band says, everyone has that mad desire to reach for something larger, to be part of something bigger than themselves. Mad love brought that to our daughter, that wonderful, brilliant connection between a great heart and the great wonder beyond her. She thinks bigger, she sees farther, and she connects more deeply. I like rock because it doesn't mean that much. It's just rock. It's a feeling, it's a sense of getting together with your friends and making something that only you could make. So when I bring these kids together, I don't flat out say that, but I try to coach them in a way and run rehearsals in a way that, yeah, anything kind of goes in here. You wanna try that section next to that section? Oh, but I usually don't hear it that way. Like that's not, I've never heard that on the radio. It's like that, all the more reason to do it. 